Look, it's my fa it's my it's it's really one of my favorite videos. I think I think it's just it's beautiful. Um, it's also quite it's also quite dark, even though it's very light. Like it's filmed in a room that could close most close like in a white wall room, which could most closely be allowed with also a dance studio. So it could be have been filmed in a dance studio, but it looks like it has very high ceilings as yeah, well. Maybe so a it, museum. It has got this kind of upper, like it mm. feels like it has a lot of room, like to the to the top, like to the ceiling. Um, it's danced and choreographed by Emma Portner and Patrick Cook, and um, it mostly focuses on Emma Portner though. And I feel that most of the movement, or most of the most of the movement vocabulary in the video is actually her choreography. Um, I have seen other of her videos, and I I recognize it. But she is also big on collaborations with male dancers, mm. and. Um, and it's doing like the way she's working on on duets like on the actual partnering um sequences they're very intricate they're not splashy it's not like super it's not super athletic it's not super acrobatic it's not like the commercial lyrical contemporary that's so thinking can dance stuff where, where the, the partnering is quite big and to kind of um, like so acrobatic that it's intended to wow it has it's again very like it's pulled back but it's very very it's connected just, it's very connected, and they're working a lot with weight in that moment. Um, but so the video is—it's basically, um, it's basically focuses on Emma Portner and a close-up at the start, and then kind of draws, like, kind of draws out of her body, and and she kind of and follows her hand, and you see that there's like a bullet wound. Maybe her heart is not in there, but it's like the makeup was really great, by the way. Mm -hmm. Well done, special effects makeup. That was <laughs> that was just good. Um, where it's basically like she damaged. Whatever, however you want to read this whole, uh, and that the review was like about oh the heart is missing. Um, she hated that. Like, or oh, that review. I hated that review. Sorry, review. It's a she. Um, the heart is missing. How cliche. And I was like, eh, it could also be a bullet wound. Anyway, it's it's a damaged body. Um, in a way. So there's damage on the body, and it's kind of through the dance, the body heals, and through the dance and through the contact with the partner, the body heals, and potentially the person heals. Mm -hmm. And there is a whole, there is a whole discourse of dance and uh, dance and, ther and therapy and dance and healing and the way that that a few dancers actually, um, the way that part of their practice is, um, is kind of connected to the fact that, da that that dance actually helps them through difficult times, like they dance through difficult times. I, that's something I do too in my own dance practice. Is um, that dance actually helps me like to actually elevate and re, re rejuvenate and kind of get better and feel better and kind of make like and this has like a lot of basis in in in, in how um, adrenaline works on the body and and the, that physical activity actually brings brings out like um, pheromones. Is it pheromones? No, it's not pheromones. It's like um, happy endorphins. That's the one. Sorry, pheromones is like let's go and. Mate, no, that's not what I meant. I meant endorphins, and it's actually, and it kind of draws on that a little bit. But what I found most interesting about, and it's contemporary dance vocabulary, um, she uses. Um, but having said that, contemporary dance is an umbrella term, and there's so many different styles that fall under this umbrella, um, mostly associated with coming out of um, expressionist modern dance, postmodern dance movement, um, or, or out of this kind of history. But these days, um, it also kind of includes release technique and Alexander technique, and kind of people incorporate yoga. Anouk Van Dijk, who's a um, Dutch choreographer who's now working in Australia, she has a technique called counter technique that's also contemporary dance technique. So it's basically a lot has a lot of contemporary dance has to do with uh, person like how choreographers with individual styles, and I feel that Emma Portner has a, has a very individual style that is very I hate to call it quirky because quirky has such bad associations. Um, in a sense, it's always women, quirky, manic pixie dream girl stuff. This is, and this is really problematic. But her movements are very kind of, they're not splashy. No, they're in particular. Sense. They're very particular and they're very exact. They're exact, they're particular, they're meticulous. They're, they are fluid as well, even when they have these moments of... And she has... And she always and she draws back into her upper body a lot. So she's mm -hmm. basically in a in a perpetual contraction, into a perpetual upper body contraction, and it's kind of really 
And she seems very long limbed. It's, it's kind of like she's drawing her long limbs in. Do you think, um, do you see an influence from Gaga in her work? Um, you mean Bacheva Gaga or Lady Gaga Gaga? <laughs> Bacheva <laughs> Gaga. Oha Neharin Gaga. I actually thought about this when I watched the video yesterday because um, I saw Bacheva live at the Melbourne Festival three weeks back and um, I feel some of some of what she does um, resembles resembles Gaga. I um, don't know if she's drawing on, on that particular technique um, per se, but it does resemble that. And having said that, Emma Portner has, um, check out her Vimeo channel. Um, she is really, like she also, again, um, she became really big uh, by her social media presence and using YouTube to bring out her work. And um, I first stumbled across her because of one of my So You Think You Can Dance fans in the community I was working with actually posted a video of her um, with a fellow dancer where they're doing a, uh, a with, I think it's um, Matt, I forgot his last name, but it's, it's not with Patrick Cook, it's with another male dancer. Um, and it's a little video in a white, in, again, in a white space where they both sit on the floor and they just sit on the floor. They actually never get up. They just dance while sitting on the floor. Um, and that's how I kind of stumbled across her. And yeah. she does very well. She's based in New York. Um, she's currently prepared and has her own dance company called Flock Dance. Mm. And um, they're doing a fundraiser for a new production. Sorry, guys. Really bit of the plugging going on here. But um, she's really interesting, and she's and her Vimeo. She's really like she does a lot of work a lot with videos and kind of uh, with the video for, with, with the video drawing as well. Yeah, um, that's, I didn't yeah, know that's, about her, and then I started looking into her. She's also very young. I mean, that's something that should also be said about almost all of the collaborators, um, including the um, the actual film and editing all done by pretty young people, which is, which is interesting um, to kind of think about, right, establishment, but also about competency. I mean, so it can go either way. So both, you know, creating, YouTube has created a space for a lot of people that might not have had opportunities or wouldn't have had the same opportunities at the age that they're at or yeah. whatever. But it's also interesting to see... Um, like that's not to say that there aren't a lot of older filmmakers, directors, choreographers who aren't also still like interesting. So it's kind of like a a balance. But I mean, I think if we do want to read into a little bit of the biographical component, sort of of this album as Bieber's like adulthood or like moment of maturation, then it's and some people have said um, like Where Are You Now, the song specifically marks like a turning point in his career um or like a game changer it's been called then it's interesting to think about also similarly as a vehicle for these other young people to like <laughs> become butterflies yeah as they enter the mainstream um which is kind of kind of interesting so let's just 